Hello and welcome in Cosmetic Ingredient School. Today we'll be talking about what? Glycolic acid, that's right, this is the smallest alpha hydroxy acid and one of the most common and the most important right now in a skincare environment. Why I said it's the most important? Because it's everywhere, in cleansing products, cream products, serums, it's so much of glycolic acid right now and because of those reasons I want to answer the most important questions when to use it, what percentage, how to use it, who can use it and even more. Okay so let's get started. So how glycolic acid really work? Because it's the smallest alpha hydroxy acid its structure will penetrate very fast different layers of epidermis of row of cells in layer of our skin. It will allow boost collagen production, it will melt, literally melt connection between different cells, make them more loose so the keratolytic process and peeling processes will begin. That is why we have this cleaning effect, making the dead cells be swiped off our face much faster than normally the process will take. So this is where the glycolic acid makes a difference in our skincare. It is soluble in water and alcohol but what I want you to remember is that it is soluble in water and because of that, it will also neutralize, it will be neutralized by water. So if you have any burning, any irritation, and you want to get rid of it, you need to neutralize glycolic acid and you can do it by using simply water. You might ask yourself, what percentage of glycolic acid I should use? And this is a very good question because there are so many different formulas, so many different percentages, pH, pKa, but this will maybe we'll cover in another video. But I want you to know that in cleansing products, you might find formulas around 8 to 10% of glycolic acid. In creams, daily creams, you might find up to 15% of glycolic acid. And in serums normally that you wash, away around after 10-15 minutes, there you can expect up to 30% in behind-the-counter skincare products. If you go to professional, if you go to esthetician, cosmetologist, dermatologist, you might really expect much higher voltages. You might expect 50, 40, even 70% of glycolic acid, but this is just done by a professionalist. I've done a lot of glycolic acid in very high formulas. You can also see glycolic acid being one of the acids in some combo of acid with formula of 50% in acids in total. And that's also very popular in professional places. So is it okay to use glycolic acid every day? I would say like this. If you have a tolerance building in your skin, if you're using glycolic acid or different types of acid for many, many months, maybe for years, you build a tolerance, your skin knows how to behave in front of the acid. But if you're a beginner or if you randomly or temporarily use or want to use glycolic acid, I would suggest not to use it every day. Uh, make a strategy, make a plan when to use it. I would totally not recommend using it during the summer because you might get irritation, burning, photopigmentation and many more. So I would skip totally acids uh, during the summer. High formula serums like 30%, definitely maximum once per week. When we are talking about cleansers like 8-10%, okay, here you can go daily and also for creams you can go daily. I would suggest to use them in the evening for night routine instead of daily routine because you are also putting SPF there and I think it's much easier for the acids to work in the evening where you don't put many layers of different cosmetics and also you probably go out so you're exposed towards the sun so it's much better for skin to work with those products in the evening. Can I use alpha hydroxy acid during summer? If I can use glycolic acid during summer, you can but you have to be very very careful. You have to use SPF I would say 50 every day. Also try to reapply it. It's very important because if you're melting connections between the cells they are getting loose and then the fresh delicate skin is getting pushed out on the surface and it's so gentle, so vulnerable and you don't want to burn it. You want to take care of it, right? So I would skip glycolic acid during summer but you can use it. I mean, if you are a very responsible person and you know what you're doing, you can do that. What skin types can use glycolic acid? All skin types can use glycolic acid, but for what skin type glycolic acid will be the best? I would say for dull, tired, aging, dry skin, this precise 
acid will be the best because it's not working that well with oils it's not soluble in oils like pyruvic acid like salicylic acid so from oil and acne skins i would suggest other types of acids uh, there is the link to salicylic acid in my previous video you can listen about that but for but glycolic acid will really work well for mixed skin dry skin and also the the one that really needs some kick some kick and refreshing treatment into the skincare so yeah this is where glycolic acid should be used how long does it take for glycolic acid to work the peeling and you know the dryness and actually the the process the stimulation of the process will start immediately and the peeling will start i would say from third to fifth day it might actually keep going for a week but the the advanced the deep performance of glycolic acid when you will see the changes in the skin structure how it really performs and makes the skin being refreshed and also stimulates the production of collagen this will take around three to six weeks basically the skin is reconstructing itself every 28 days this process is varying between uh, different ages but you need to give it a time to really make it work in deeper layers of your skin if you have feedback or question about glycolic acid leave the comment down below also if you learned something today give me a thumb up it will really make a difference for me and hey also catch me on instagram uh, let's talk about skincare glycolic acid whatever you want to talk about so thank you very much for watching if you are interested in skincare you can always subscribe to my channel so yeah see you in next episode bye